You see, brothers and sisters, the thing about this whole spiritual walk and being a part of the body of Christ and being a child of God and being born again is literally putting yourself last, putting your titles last, putting your ego last, putting your agenda last, putting your flesh last, and being more of a servant, being more of the light of the world and letting God operate through you. No big heads, no people that's less than you. It's all about doing the will of God and being led by his direction and not trying to grab hold of any titles or any positions that make you feel that you are at a place where you have arrived. You see, the difference between a spiritual walk and a walk of getting uh, monetary success or a degree or going to college and getting this degree, that degree, getting a promotion or doing this or that in life is that God is not a respecter of persons. In other words, we try at our jobs to do the right thing. We try to work, hopefully, unto the Lord. But some of us don't work unto the Lord. Some of us agenda is we got to step on anybody just to get to the top. You know, there's a lot of competition and, you know, man eats man, dog eats dog, you know, crabs in a barrel type of ideology. But when it comes to our spiritual walk, brothers and sisters, God is the one who anoints and appoints whoever he wants to. And it has to be not in opposition with his word. In other words, it should not contradict his word. It should not be <laughs> woman apostles, woman bishops out there. It does not correlate with the word of God. It's unbiblical. I believe that one of the tricks of the devil is to try to make you feel in your spiritual walk where you are a big shot. And as long as you have that mentality or disposition, I don't care how many titles you have, as long as you think you're a big shot, as long as you think that God chose you, and if you... <laughs> In this whole entire world, you, yeah, you, if you won't do what you do, the whole world is going to crumble. If you have that ideology that it's all about you and God is not appointing or uh, choosing the person who is an usher who's been diligent and sweeping the floors and heart after God, this man who people may look past or overlook may be the very one that's called by God, not by man, to be an apostle. So what am I saying? I'm saying that God is not a respecter of persons and he will choose. He will appoint. He will anoint. He will shower. He will lift up whom he wants to lift up. But when it comes to a point, brothers and sisters, where people are fixated by being popular, by being famous, by being noticed, by way of pride, by way of vanity, by way of entertainment, by way of theatrics, by way of ego, you are on a slippery slope. <laughs> You are on dangerous territory. You are on dangerous grounds. There's a lot of women out there, whether it be YouTube, whether it be in conferences, uh, quote unquote, first ladies and deaconess. And it's foolery. It's coonery buffoonery in my eyes. Anybody who is in ministry, the devil, hear me really good. The devil loves it when mankind in ministry puffs himself up to be a big shot or looks at himself as somewhat like a big shot. Listen, you have your power. You have your anointing from either the devil or either by God. You are anointed and appointed 
either from God Almighty or Satan himself. And that's the bottom line. Okay? Do you really think that the devil was caught up in your titles? Do you really think that? Do you really think that the devil cares that you call yourself an apostle or evangelist or this or that? The devil doesn't care as long as you are in your egotistical, self-righteous, pious position. No power, no anointing, but just flesh, just ego, just agenda, just self-made and self-promoted. This is what Satan's all about. He's all about propaganda. And I'm letting you guys know out there. If it doesn't line up with the word of God. Don't fall for the game. Don't fall for the game, brothers and sisters. I'm serious. You got to really, really search who you are following. There's very little apostles and pastors and teachers that are really putting in work for God for real, for real. And that's how, brothers and sisters, you differentiate who's who. What is my goal on YouTube? Let's talk about that. My goal on YouTube, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophetist. Okay, I'm not a bishop, a deacon, this or that. I am a servant, I am a student, and I am a messenger. And the messages that I bring, a lot of people don't want to hear it because some of them is raw and uncut, and some of them step on your toes, and some of them may put you to the point where you're examining your own spiritual walk. But I also try to give you spiritual tools and how to get out of the flesh and win this war over the flesh. That's the goal by way of deliverance, spiritual warfare, and of course, intercessory prayer. That is the goal of Samantha Hicks's channel. Okay. I'm not here trying to promote myself. I'm not here trying to get on TV. I'm not here trying to sell a thousand t-shirts. I'm not trying to do all of that fo- coolery, buffoonery, self-righteous, uh, self this and that. No, it's about souls, brothers and sisters. And I don't care if you on YouTube, or BooTube, or this or that. The bottom line is you will one day have to stand before God. And take into account everything you say, everything you do, everything you posted, each Hashanda, each and every comment that you've ever made. And the intentions and the motives behind those intentions, we got to dig deep and we got to stop playing around with our walk with God. There's far too many people out there that's playing tit for tat, competition, showing off, showmanship idolatry, covetousness. Everybody wants to be down with everybody and doesn't want to go through the fire and be refined and humble themselves and be broken before God and be stripped. See, God is about stripping. Oh yeah. Stripping that flesh, refining you in the fire, the affliction. If you're not ready to go through any affliction and self identification on what you are, who you are, and what your motives are in spirit and in truth, raw and uncut. If you're not willing to be honest with yourself and be transparent, there's a lot of people over there who are (laughs) calling themselves prophetess and this and that, and they're not even over the spirit of vanity. Their faces are all made up. They got weaves. They got all of this and this coonery, buffoonery stuff. And they trying to preach to somebody. Oh, what's the mad? There's not body out. Yes, it is. Because if you put vanity on the forefront that much, you're not thinking about souls. Huh? You thinking about Maybelline. It's the whole cycle, man. And I'm not here just talking about makeup. I'm talking about the whole spiritual side of what you do and why you do what you do. If you can't get past the flesh, huh? If you can't get, if you can't consecrate your flesh, if you can't put your flesh under subjection, you trying to win souls to Christ, huh? You have to make sure that your house is in order first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
There's a lot of people out there, you know, talking about the Jezebel spirit and this, this, and that. Okay. And absolutely the Jezebel spirit is real and, and things of that nature, you know, uh, you know, and it's not good to have, you know, it's very controlling spirit. But have you been delivered? Are you giving me 30,000 videos on the Jezebel spirit or are you, are you being delivered? Where's your deliverance? You're talking about it, but has God delivered you from the Jezebel spirit or are you just, you just want to have it in your life? Like this is a joke. Brothers and sisters, we got to get serious. Oh yeah. We got to get set free. We got, we got to get real about our walk with God. This is not about playing games, man. Hell is hot. People are dying. And eternity is forever. So what is your position, brothers and sisters, out there listening to this video right now? Sometimes you just got to sit down, shut up, and ask for directions from God. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sit down. Shut up. Because you can't hear if you constantly talking and being a busybody online or, or doing things that God didn't tell you to do, wasting time. Sometimes just being still and listening to God and listening for his direction, whether it be a week or a month, huh? maybe God will sit you down for a year. huh? And once you get that direction, God in the midst of that is refining, is stripping, huh? and you are having your deliverance being transformed in the process. Brothers and sisters, there's too many busybodies out there. There's too many busybodies online. There's too many people listening to this one and that one and not enough God. And it's got to get to the point where somebody has to pull the plug, close the curtains, and cut the crap. I'm serious, brothers and sisters. You know, <laughs> I believe that Satan is having a field day laughing at a lot of these self-appointed, self-anointed men and women of God on social media or even in a pulpit. Oh, yeah. Just because your father's a bishop and you want to have the same old tradition and you're not even anointed to do that. God may have called you to be a businessman. God may have been called you to be a teacher or a plumber, the best plumber in town. But just because your father or somebody else in your family is in ministry, you want to carry that old tradition and you have no anointing, no power, no call in your life to do that auxiliary. But yet you want to be seen. You don't want to let daddy down. This is daddy's wish. So you have to fulfill that wish. And that's not what God wants you to do. What am I saying? What am I saying? I'm saying that stop trying to be like everybody else check your motives and sit down and read the word of god study more get offline more stop looking at thirty thousand videos have some quiet time get off of social media this is why everybody wants to be on instagram and snapchat and all these there's so many different uh social things i don't even know i tell my kids what is this what is that how do you i'm not even interested it's just too much for the brain, brothers and sisters. It's too much for the brain. And if you have your brain cluttered, and if you have this, especially if you have a low self-esteem spiritually out there, if you're out there and you have low self-esteem and you are one of those people out there that looking for likes or how many subscribers or this and that, and, you know, oh, I, I got to I gotta make sure I got two, uh, three, or three, five subscribers an hour or, or whatever. Uh, listen. That's low self-esteem. God did not appoint you to be raised up like a big shot. The word of God says, if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, not you. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's not about you, brothers and sisters. It's not about you. It's not about your channel. Huh? It's not about your subscribers. It's about God. And if you realize that it's all about God, your ministry can really, really change for the better.